I got him good. Neutral. Hey, Johnny, take a picture. Hey, let me show you how it's done, boy. That's how it's done right there. We got bait, y'all. We have now filled up the bait wells full of baits. We have small baits in one well, big baits in another. We're ready for anything. Snapper, sailfish, kingfish, you name it, we're ready for it. These are called chummies. So I always have small baits and big baits. The small baits you just throw out and they're meant to attract. Take a bait like this and you hook it right through the clear part of the nose just like that, and you can get them out there, get them out to where you want. These are called outriggers. Now, the line will go in here, that's too much pressure. That's too much pressure. You want that fish to be able to pull it out, just like that. When the fish eats the bait, it'll pull it out of that clip, but what this does is that elevates the line and it separates it from the boat. So now we're just gonna slowly, this is called slow trolling. It's a great way to catch dolphin, sailfish, king mackerel, black fin tuna, just a whole herd of different fish. We're out here in the middle of nowhere and we found a sausage. Oh, just... Whoa, hey, hey, sailfish right there. Is he still on there? I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think he's coming out the boat. There's bubbles right here. Huh. That's a diver down 124 feet and that's what he's got. When you come out here diving, if you're gonna like book a charter, make sure it's a good boat. That, but like, it's at least a mile away. That's like, can't be good. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, good. He's just coming at you. Big old king is what it is. Oh my God, it's a big, big king. It's a big smoker king. Where's my gaff, gaff, gaff? Get up on the front right. Here we go, Rob. Here we go. He's right here. Oh. There it is. Jeez. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a big one right there. That is a big one. Look at the teeth on that. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> there you go. Reach in there. That is a whopper size fish over the rail and in the pail over the rail and in the pail this right here will save your life when i built this boat we jim lux literally made the shade the outriggers the downriggers the dredges everything all the metal and this is what's called slow trolling you get out and you drive into the tide you put the outriggers out so then you're fishing shorts longs and flats you need a long we got a big one now we have shade that right there makes more difference than I can even explain in words. Team USA is hooked up. What do you think it is? It's a fish, I don't know. I was just taking a break and fired the JYG down. Literally, as soon as it hit the bottom. Oh, hey, the whoa. Fish. We got fish around the boat. That's the bottom line. Oh, yeah. Get one right here. Why is it that every time I pick up a fishing pole, something good happens? No, every time I pick up a camera. I thought I was snagged on the bottom. Oh, we got another fish now. What do you think it is? A grouper! I caught a grouper. <laughs> Have a dang, a red grouper. Red grouper. Yeah. That's crazy. Look at the size jig he eats. Like, that's what he eats. <laughs> they can't resist it. Unbelievable. You got a fish on? Hog on. Got a hog? <laughs> Bail. 
Yeah, over the rail and into pail. Old Don Cody, straight out of Alaska. He's got another one on board. What do you have that? The fish is out there like Chinatown. Hey, talk. you ain't in the dill chick anymore, boy. <laughs> you gotta be nice to them, talk to your bait, and they'll perform. Especially, you're fishing the Bahamas with that bait. That bait is out there like eight miles. Whatever it is, it's either swimming back at me or. Oh, it's a big kingfish. That's yeah, a king, it's a king. Hold on. Hold on. Nice fish. Oh. Hey. Anyone. Anyone can gap. Like. Anyone can, can gap the fish. Hey, if you two have had a stroke and you're trying to work on your motor skills, just get a sorry gap and a fast fish and you will like get to the bottom of it. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. What? The fight or watching me try to gaff this fish? Both. <laughs> oh, I agree. That's a king. Whoa, mackerel. This is the truth story, folks. <laughs> I'm just sitting here rigging this a, a, a rod and Austin. Hold on. <laughs> you know, you know you got the right lure when you got a mutton and a hamperjack bit the same thing. What the heck? <laughs> that just makes you shake your head. They wanted it bad. I'm trying not to get hooked. For sure. <laughs> if you're looking for me, I'm gonna be sleeping in the console, okay? I'm gonna let them take over from here. Big sale, big sale, big sale. Good fish. I don't know that it's big sale. It sounded good. It sounded good, yeah. It had a bite to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that fish ate your bait and, and another fish like aired out on it with it on the surface. That's a cobia. That's a cob. That's a cob. A nice cob. Holy mackerel. <laughs> That's what I saw jump out of the water. Here, pull him up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I saw a big cobia jump out of the water when I said to myself, that looked like a cobia, but it can't be a cobia airing out. No, it was a cobia. Get a map. Get a map. Hey. My man, we, we've got a cobia, oh, we got a kingfish, we got a fish on right here. Get him, Mav, get him, boy. It's a lane snapper. This is like really good eating fish, but not what we're after. We found a new way to catch sharks. <laughs> we found a new way to catch sharks. Hey, anytime you have a fish, you gotta have wire and gloves. What do you want me to do? Cut it when it gets up close. go home. We got a big old storm coming. Welcome to the campfire everybody. We got a, 
a big old kingfish here. Now, you may say to yourself, hey, that screen looks fogged up, and you're right, it is fogged up. But I wanna tell you something. This is the smaller of the two kingfish. We had a big one, about a 30 pounder, that we caught first, and so when we got to the boat ramp, there was a family there that had no fish, and like, hey, we just gave it to them, so they would have fish. And now this is plenty big enough for us. Let me show you how I clean it. Right off the bat, we're gonna cut the tail. That goes up there. And then, right here. Make it about one inch thick. Start off, I'm gonna like put some teriyaki on it. Just like that. Ooh, that's good. That brings everything out. I'm gonna put some pepper on it. Some salt put on top there. Then we'll take some Pam, spray in there just like that. That's gonna keep it from sticking on the grill. Oil down this real good. Watch this. Just let it go. Now it's gonna heat these things and cook these things perfectly. Now there's so many things in a video and in a day. Hey, we cannot show you everything. But one thing I can tell you is there's a truck, a GMC Denali right there with a big old gator in the back. Now I don't know which side the video is, if this is, comes first and then the gator or the gator then this, but I guarantee you, as soon as we get done eating fish, we gotta get it clean, and y'all gonna see that too. But in the meantime, we're gonna cook some fish and have a good time. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Look at this fish. Nice, baby, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Come on with it. Let it spin. I told y'all we had an alligator. That gator right there almost ate a person, and we went out and caught it. So guaranteed. Click on the link in the description below, and you can watch us catch that video, that gator. We have been working our butts off, and now we have fresh fish that comes right off the grill. That's 100% because of oil. Just a little teriyaki, salt and pepper, and some fresh wood. Look how good that looks. Now let's eat. So many people think of kingfish as just a mackerel that you throw away. This is amazingly good eating fish, especially when it's fresh. Look at this. Comes out nice and slow. We slow cooked it. It's amazing. Oh, you can taste the wood. <laughs> Definitely. You can have the wood flavor. So you're from Alaska. And by the way, this is Don Cotney. You've seen him in the video all day. When I was up in Alaska last year with my family, I just wanted to go fishing. I want to meet people and go fishing. We was in the gas station and I ran into him. He has an awesome boat. We became friends. Well, hey, we sort of fishing together. He has an awesome bar and he cleans tons of game and fish and whatnot. And you cook tons of game. What do you think of this? This is amazing. The smoke flavor is on point it's just like you smoked it all day but it only took 20 minutes mm -hmm. it's still very hot when you look at it it's snow white a lot like a snapper or a grouper but it's got the flavor of a smoked fish like smoked kingfish smoked tuna smoked kingfish yeah it's exactly what this is but hey it started before daylight we got out there, we caught bait, we caught fish, we had a great time. We came back, we claimed the gator, we had a fire. It's what good times are all about. And I appreciate you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, drop a thumbs up, let us know what you think, and what do you want to see next? Hey, take care, God bless, and we are, you know it. Say it out loud.